Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Vaibhav Roy. In this video, we are going to study about dimensions or dimensioning. The dimensions are given by BIS, which stands for Bureau of Indian Standards. Dimensioning. The way of expressing the details in terms of numerical values regarding the distance between surface, lines, points, planes, etc. on a drawing using lines, symbols and units is known as dimensioning. The dimensioning is of two, th two types. Methods of dimensioning can be broadly classified into unidirectional system of dimensions and aligned system of dimensions. Okay, what is unidirectional system of dimensions? In this method, the dimensions are placed horizontally and the dimensions line is interrupted in the middle for insertion of dimensions like this. The line, the dimensions line is interrupted in the middle and the dimensions are placed horizontally in between these lines. Okay, now what is aligned system of dimensions? In this method of dimensioning, the dimensions are placed parallel to the width and above the dimension line preferably in the middle as shown in the figure like this. The dimensions are placed beside the dimension line and preferably in the middle of the dimension line. It, should not, uh, it is not compulsory that the dimensions are horizontal, they may be vertical also. But in unidirectional system of dimensioning, it is compulsory that the dimensions are placed in a horizontal pattern. Now that we know uh, the system of dimensioning, uh, let's study some of the general rules for dimensioning. Dimensioning is to be done so completely that further assumptions of any dimensions or calculation is not necessary. None of the dimension must be given more than once. <coughs> Dimensions should be given outside the drawing unless it is necessary. Dimension line should not cross any other line or hidden lines. Okay, now let's see the arrows used in a drawing. The arrowheads. There are three types of arrowheads used in a drawings. Open arrowheads closed arrowheads and closed and filled arrowheads. These diagrams represent the three types of arrowheads. Generally an open arrowhead is preferred uh, for most of the drawings. The length of the arrowhead is taken three times the width that is the length of the arrowhead this one is taken three times the width of the arrowhead like this that's it for this tutorial in the next video we will be studying about in the next video we will be studying about curves used in engineering practice and their constructions for all my videos please visit my youtube channel that is www.youtube.com slash vibhavroyce if you have any queries comments or suggestions please email me to vibhavroy at the rate of engineer.com thank you for watching